I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, yeah, okay? Well, you know. I heard that down at the well. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks. I didn't ask for goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, you know not I like lady. I know. I've had to quiet the occasional loud mouth of my fist. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. 
I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. I want things. <laughs> All good. You know me. Arthur. Good to hear. Evening. Good evening. Are you well? You saw those fish Jose dropped off? I did. No, well, I didn't start off so good. All right, well, I should be getting on. I should do some work. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, then. So, how are you, Mr. Smith? Fine. Well, <laughs> you've been up to much, have you? Not really. Read any interesting books recently? No. Seen any plays? No. <sighs> you heard any good jokes? Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> Well, you fancy sharing it with me? No. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun, well, watching the grass grow. Please, go watch it. <laughs> You know, someday, you will warm up to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another busy day. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. You having a bad day or something? No. Uh, I get it. We'll leave you alone. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> I guess. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, Arthur. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up a moving all the time. Yep, just the way it is. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Talk to you later. You boys mind if I sit down a while?
been a tough few weeks. No, I know I've been kind of mad with you all. Very funny. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch. Same as Jose. I don't want to die. But if I have to, I will. So... Forgive me. All of you. We should go fishing again soon. That was fun. Yes, I needed that. To clear the mind after everything. Yep. Okay, speak later. Thanks. Howdy, fellas. Arthur? Any leads? I'm working on something. Good. Well, let me know. Yep. That's good to hear. Lots of work to do around here. <laughs> Someone should get on that. You're lucky I'm in a good mood. Yep, yep. Okay, Posted that Arthur. letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. You okay, Lenny? Jose, uh... Yeah. Lemoyne wouldn't be my first Lewis? choice, but this is a good spot. It's just for now. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure. Come on now, Pearson. Easy there. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Well, don't let me bother you. See you later. Oh, hey, Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this whole cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Okay, my girl. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right.
So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> the fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked down. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much for it. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. You're out throwing lead with Sadie Adler. Helping the law chase down criminals? All right. That left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Easy. the rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Ah! Hey, keep ah! it down. about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, you don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. It's up, Arthur. 
Here come the rest of them. You saw what we did to your pals here. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. So, here we are. We got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? We take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Dug this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. You find anything yet? This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's got to be other places out there like this. And bother. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Oh, now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. 
And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals, they escaped. And now I'm, I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. And the sooner the better, please. Girl. You okay, mister? Please! Y'all gotta help me out here! Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Or, or you need to... Drink suck this. The out. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Don't much like it. I'm out here. No more. Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Okay, girl. Yep. Look here. Done to you. Whoa, easy. Easy, easy. Whoa, easy. Easy. Come on. Uh, these jobs better not rub off on my pants. Yeah.
Him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. Hoodwink our audiences. <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> Be a lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please... I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> yeah. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Let me bring the wagon along. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like, like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Ah, oh, darn. 
found your dog. X dog X line. Hey boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm going to put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log, then. Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash. How you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... Well, you can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then so. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. Depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. around here when the dust was up be careful or you might get wrecked too okay you know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out mr margaret's a lot of things but best female navigator ain't one of them uh, i imagine you're right about that we was tearing around here looking for any kind of landmark when over we go whole caravan toppled found each other and some shelter but when the wind died down the animals was gone and uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. 
Oh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. What ho! Sorry, old business, dear. Yeah, it's sorry, all right. That bloody dust, devil. Dust and gin are a bad combination. Don't bring old Tom into it. Let a man have some pleasure. It's been a jolly hard day. Ain't it just? We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A, a dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. What you done? 
Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Just returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't a... clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> A knew. goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Oh, in good time, my dear. Let's go, girl. A 
Hi, folks. Bien le bonjour. You should be careful who you speak to around here. According to the great teachings of our master, just this land take care now, is right? our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia. The one true American's religion, the one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. Mister? Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. It is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Hear the truth and rejoice, for you are saved and already in paradise. If only you had the wisdom to understand it. Chelonia, America, they are the same thing. If savages could prosper here, how much better shall the white man do in this sacred place? No more kings! We are all kings! Our prophet told us this. 100 years ago. Let us pray together and give thanks for our redemption, the redemption of this sacred place, Chelonia. This is Chelonia. We are all Chelonians. Embrace your protector. Embrace all that is sacred in this place. Seek and ye shall find, and what ye shall find is the Great Shell, and the Great Shell is Chelonia. And this is Chelonia, the greatest shell of all. The two seas, and the isthmus, and the frozen north. Thus, we are safe to love, safe to seek. The greatest wisdom, and the greatest wisdom will be revealed to us. That revelation states unequivocally that I, that we all, are of Chelonia. Thus, we are all Chelonians. This is the land of the Great Turtle. And that is how we will achieve lives of 200 years or longer, like turtles. That is truth. Hear it. And weep. A hundred years ago, a few lucky pilgrims left for Chelonia. Now we can all go and join their descendants in the woods. Our master is calling us. He will now be 153 years old and is ready for us. I intend to make the journey. I hope you will travel with me. Seek and find the answers in Chelonia. The future of a better America, a safe future. Yeah, yeah. We need to be safe. We must be safe. Europeans die every day. So do animals. 
Neither nature nor the ways of the old world have made us safe. We must learn a new way. And that way is Chelonia. I need a ticket, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. Folks, I'm gonna tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man Wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. <laughs> snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Bye now. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Gentlemen. Hello, sir. How do you do, sir? Well, well. Good day so far. Always for the blind. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man?